What's up guys, Dickapin here, we're playing more of Beta Fallout 76, and yes, I've gotten a bit farther if you can't tell by my outfit. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos, we've got some starting videos for the beta. Check the link in the description below. But I want to show you off the gore in this. Check this out. It's pretty good. It's like just as good as Red Dead Redemption 2's gore. And I know it's such a pity thing to kind of talk about, but I don't know. I really like the attention to detail when it comes to blowing people's heads off. It looks really good. And you can also blow off limbs and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I'm playing back back more of the beta. And I noticed they have a lot of like they have a lot of machines you can use around here to get like ammo like this one right here and even just that's a, just a jukebox to play music there's a lot of music play and i'm really noticing kind of the downfalls of this game is that as i mentioned before there aren't npcs around it's all about going to computer terminals or talking to a computer to do missions and they also have events it's kind of a bit like destiny where it kind of throws you events but i really wish they just had kind of that interaction with Fallout 4 and Fallout 3 that you get when it like zooms into people's face and you really get a good story that's really missing here and that really was a key ingredient in my opinion to the Fallout games and uh I'm not sure if this will outstand the this the the test of time to say the least but sure a lot of people on everywhere I walk this guy's over here just in a bush <laughs> oh we both did a heart emoji it's a bit dark. You guys, is it dark for you guys? There's no way to change the brightness settings in this. I could in Vegas, but I'm not going to worry about all that. But yeah, I would like a brightening, a brightness setting in this game would be nice. But um, I really, I'm a bit nervous because like, I don't really know what we're going to do. Like, well, after we explore the whole map, put like 30 hours into it, exploring, playing with a couple of friends, getting a loot, getting a big old mech suit. What's there left to do? I wonder. <laughs> The mission I'm heading to right now is uh, taking me into this building, but these missions don't have any real end game. I don't show up and there's someone there. I don't per se. There's no like real feeling to the missions, and that, like, there's no heart to them. There's no person giving it to you. It's some robot, and I don't really. I'm not feeling that. It looks like there's a lot of robots here to fight. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what I mean. And I come here and I just pick up this little device, and it's like, hey, you got you got this device. Good job. And we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you some card packs, which I'm also still I'm, I'm still learning the perks too. But let's get some, some gameplay action. <laughs> I actually really like this gun I have. It's a really good automatic. I've been having trouble finding shotgun ammo, but this gun's pretty good. And you can buy ammo, but it seems like super overpriced to me. You go to vending machines and can buy ammos, but look at that robot. Can you guys like tell like wh when I'm shooting the robot, pieces of it fleck off? Like its arm shoots off, its metal shoots off, and it just turns into like a nothingless fire at its last second. They didn't have that kind of detail in like as much as in Fallout 3 and 4 from what I remember. Like stuff does look a lot better in this game compared to Fallout 4, which is what everyone's going to be comparing it to. But I think more than anything, people are asking what this game is, and it is not Fallout 4. But it is Fallout. It's just the story stuff is not as good as you probably want it to be. But still, nonetheless, it is pretty amazing to play Fallout with people. To walk by and be like, oh my god, there's someone standing there. That shit's pretty cool. You guys want to see something funny? My 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 first picture I took here at the vault Tech, I was blinking. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. But I've been taking a lot of cool pictures, though. I do like the photo mode a lot. The photo mode's rad, seriously. <laughs> Especially when you can just go to your PC and it's like already saved all the pictures and you can just post them. I like it a lot. I've been taking a lot of pictures. <laughs> And also, as you guys can tell, the loading isn't the greatest. And it does take a minute for all this stuff to load, especially going in between buildings. As I mentioned in the last video, some of the buildings are open and closed, but the bigger ones like this, you have to load in and out. And that loading takes a minute. It definitely takes you out of the immersion. And I don't know what that red is. What is that? Is that someone in the distance firing? <laughs> I, like, I want to go check, but... <laughs> find myself just aiming I find myself uh, aimlessly roaming around a lot in this game a lot of times I'm just like uh I don't know where to go but I do want to go over to the um, the the carousel place there's like a theme park area I want to go see that before we end this bit I don't have too many more videos for the review but I do want to go check out the the theme park I'll probably the next video I'll probably be the last one go check out the theme park and then we'll post our review and before you know it the game will be out by the time I post this is less than two weeks 
And by the time you guys see it, it's like probably less than a week, so it's exciting. But that place was kind of cool. I mean, I guess. Uh, again, I just, I'm not feeling the mission structure. I'm not feeling go talk to a robot, read this text, go pick up this item, and that's it. Yeah, I think this one wanted me to go sample the water. I mean, it's, it's all right, but I just really miss that interaction with actual NPCs that talk and add stories and follow you through. I mean, hopefully they can add some of that in. I don't know. I mean, you hear the hollow tape. That's what we get. We get like mini hollow tapes. We don't get actual interactions with people. We get hollow tapes from dead bodies or robots. And that's just. I don't think that's quite what I really want in a story with Fallout, you know? And even here, this robot guy, you sell stuff to this guy, but if someone else is using it, you can't use it. So a troll could just sit there and block people from using it. So I don't know. There's a lot of stuff they need to fix. But to be honest, I'm feeling it. And if you guys want uh, my true impressions, we'll have a review coming soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have a lot more coming soon. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.